Good afternoon. Today is the 9th of December and uh, it's time for our regular monthly dose of entertainment. The top 10 best selling cars of November 2019. Overall, November 2019 has been quite a surprising month. The decline that we've seen in um, previous months compared with the year before has um, supposedly slowed down a little bit. So the overall shrink of market between um, November 2018 and 19 was only 1.27%. Now, it's not obviously great news, but it's a lot less of um, a decrease for some of the months we've had. We've had decreases of, say, 6 7% at times. But the top 10 best-selling cars has changed quite significantly this month for the first time this year. Obviously, we'll go through these and we'll go through the statistics for manufacturers and things like that. Um, but uh, I just want to say all statistics are taken directly from the SMMT website. And uh, also, these are statistics that um, relate to the comparison between October two th sorry, November 2018 and November 2019. So when I say, uh, for example, Mercedes, uh, they had a, an 8.7% decrease in sales. That means they sold 8.7% fewer cars in November 2019 than November 2018. So that's all clear now. Uh, we'll make a start. One of the things I don't think I've pointed out in a long time is that um, the private sector um, for car sales is that actually the smaller um, of market overall. So the fleet and business markets make up about 55%. So if you say, well, you know, who on earth is going to buy, um, I don't know, like the old Corsa that's going out of production soon? Well, it could be just there's very big fleet sales of that. Higher companies and, and things like that are getting hold of them. So it's not just the fact people are going into showrooms and, you know, buying these. Um, they're being sold to company fleets as a whole. So do bear that in mind um, with all the statistics to follow. No surprise about diesel. That's down 27%. Petrol's up 2%. That's now 62.2% of the market share. Full electric cars, um, they continue to be in a meteoric rise. They used to be under 2% of the market share, but um, between November 2018 and November 2019, there's been a 229% rise in electric car sales, which is 3% of the market. Plug-in hybrid cars, despite the fact we don't have an incentive for the government on those anymore, um, they've gone up by 2.8%. So it got up by 35% and now 2.8% of the market share. Standard hybrid cars, um, they're up by 15%. Um, it's 4.5% of the market share. Um, quite significant, really, actually, when you think about it. Um, mild hybrid diesel, which is stuff like the Kia Sportage and Hyundai Tucson diesel, um, that's up by 454% compared with November 2018. Um, that's 2.4% of the market. And mild hybrid uh, petrol, I always give the example of the Suzuki Ignis mild hybrid um, for this. Um, that's up by 168.1% and 1.5% of the market share. Let's now look at the top 10 best sellers. Um, in first place, for the first time ever this year, it's the Vauxhall Corsa, 4,296 sales. Now, that'll be literally because this is the old model, the old... Corsa E, it's called. That's being replaced by the Corsa F very soon, but it's not based on the General Motors platform, or rather the General Motors platform that it was um, coded up with Fiat back in the mid 2000s. Um, it's based on a Peugeot Citroën platform, PSA. Um, and, you know, the things like the Corsa Griffin, they're being marketed at stupid prices, you know, standard list price say 14, 15 grand, um, actual selling price, say 10, 11 grand. You can't really argue with that. Uh, even though the technology is pretty old and really the course is only available now with variants of a certain 1.4 litre engine, different power outputs. The Ford Cougar is next. It actually outsells a Fiesta, um, 4,183 cars. 
Um, when I mentioned about the, the figures, these are cars that are registered in a certain month, but not necessarily when the car was actually ordered or anything like that. This is cars that are registered. So say I, I order my Corsa in um, October and it's registered in November, that's the figures we're using. Um, the Cougar is another old model that's being replaced this month, actually, so um, the deals on those are presumably pretty keen. Then there's Fiesta. So the margins between all of these are quite small because they're all in the region of low uh, 4,000 and high 3,000. Um, the Fiesta, 3,963. The Golf, 3,941. Again, the Golf Mark 8 is actually already in the hands of journalists, so... It's not long for the world, this Golf Mark 7.5 that I'm showing you here. Um, the Focus, uh, 3,141. Mercedes A-Class, 3,151. And the Qashqai, um, built in Britain, of course, um, 3,445. Then we have a huge leap to the next position. Um, the Mini, um, that's 2,816. Um, the Mini Electric can't come soon enough, I think, for them. Um, the Polo, 2,481. It's funny that the Golf has actually sold almost double the number of, uh, of uh, the Polo. Um, because, but considering that the Fiesta always outsells the Focus, I don't really know why that is. Um, the Tiguan um, is the one in number 10 this month. Um, that's 2,376. Right, this is the part which uh, I think is my favourite bit. I don't know if it's yours. Um, I had no comments whatsoever on last month's video. So, you know, um, although some of you did watch it, so I don't know whether you like this or not. But anyway, here we go. Let's go through some of the manufacturers and see how they're doing. All the figures are based on their performance in November 2018 versus November 2019. We have to start with a, uh, with a buff because, well, abat, as the Italians say, um, because it's first... On my political list, um, that's down 55%. Again, same reason as last month. They've only really got one model as that's on sale in this country, and it's very old. Um, Alfa Romeo down 21%. They could really do with that to Alfa Romeo Tonali small SUV to come out as soon as possible um, to reverse this decline we seem to be having. Um, Alpine, they're up by 44.4%. Now there were barely any Alpine sold in, in 2018, so. That's not difficult to see why. Um, Audi, they're up by 38% um, this month. It's probably because of the fact that they've launched a new A4 now, and that's readily available. And, you know, a lot of Audis go to fleet, so um, I imagine it's that. But uh, fellow Volkswagen Group partner Bentley, they are down by 36%. So it's not all the kind of a glowing picture at the Volkswagen Group at the moment. Um, BMW, they're down by 9.2%. I really don't know why. Um, it doesn't make any sense to me, but there we go. Citroen, they are up by 0.7%. Um, so a good consistent showing from them there. DS, their fellow brand, um, they are up by 412%. 412%. I imagine this will be down to the fact that the DS3 crossback and the DS7 crossback um, which are the only models that DS now sell, um, are more in tune with the, the times than what they were previously selling last year. Um, Fiat down by 37%. They really need to get that new Tipo saloon on sale. I'm sure that'll save them from, uh, you know, um, declining sales. Maybe not. Um, Honda, they're down by 8.7%. Maybe the new Honda Jazz when that comes out will reverse that a bit. Um, Hyundai, they are up by 9.4%. Um, as I often say in these videos, Hyundai and Kia, their fortunes seem to be slightly linked. And so if Kia is doing really well, Hyundai might not be doing so well. But if Hyundai is doing really well, then Kia might be doing so well. And it's exactly the same um, as we'll see in a little bit that's happening. Uh, Jaguar are down by 10.3%. I don't really know why. Maybe that new electrified XJ that's coming out soon, that will help them. Uh, Jeep, um, by far the most... Uh, um, sort of popular brand seemingly of FCA in this country at the moment. They're up by 13.7%. Uh, Kia down by 13.3%. Contrast to Hyundai, as I said. Uh, Land Rover, they're down by 9%. I don't really know why. Um, 
Lexus are a rival to Land Rover in some ways. Um, they're up by 57.5%. That'll be probably due to the NX and UX um, small SUVs that they currently sell, which are hybrids. Um, Lotus down by 30%. Bear in mind, though, that that's just the difference between 13 and 15 sales. So it's not a very significant number, particularly. Uh, Maserati down 29%. Um, the Levante is probably their best selling model i should think um because people have suvs um but uh yeah they probably need to get in touch with uh you know the average co2 figures and whatever uh master are down by 0.67 percent don't really know why that would be um the new models are coming out with like the new master 3 and the cx30 are brilliant uh, mercedes down by 8.7 percent again i don't know why that particularly is um who knows um mg up by 28.77 percent now that's not even with you know full capacity with the mg zs ev and the hs i drove an hs uh, last week it is a fantastic car i know many of you have seen a walk around on my channel about already but there will be a full review of that coming soon um expect that figure to only get better for this month um, as people actually start getting more of their SCVs into customers' hands, and the HS, um, I think, probably will be delivered to customers as opposed to dealers um, at about January or February next year. Mitsubishi, they're down by 39.8%. Um, the facelift they've had for the uh, Mitsubishi ASX, um, it looks nicer, but I, I don't know why they've just given it a single 2-litre petrol engine with a 5-speed manual gearbox. Um, they've also got an automatic available and there's four-wheel drive, but I don't know what's going on with Mitsubishi at the moment. Hopefully they can bring us some nice new models. They've also facelifted the Mirage, but again, it, it's sort of a bit too little too late, really. Um, again, I've, I haven't driven many Mitsubishi, so I stand to be corrected in that. Um, Nissan, they're up by 2.3%. That's very good. Um, Peugeot, they're up by 4.4%. Again, excellent. Porsche, um, they lead the increase. You thought, thought DS was good. Porsche up by 619%. That'll probably be due to the new Taycan um, electric um, car, um, the Panamera, the Panamera um, hybrid that's come out, um, and the new 911, of course. Uh, Renault are down by 26.7%. Um, I don't know. I'm not a massive fan of the current Renault Alliance, to be honest. Uh, maybe that new Clio will do well for them. Uh, Seat up by 2.1%. Um, they have a very competitive selection of cars now. Seat, um, the, not even with a new Leon that's coming out soon. Um, the Arona's a good car. Um, the Turaco's a good car. Um, the Ateca's a great car. Um, so many wonderful cars in the lineup. The Beef is good too. Um, Skoda, they're down by 8.8%. I think maybe when the new Octavia comes out, that's uh, Skoda's best-selling car globally. That will do really well for them. Um, Smart, they're down by 91.6%. It's not really a surprise. They're kind of winding Smart down at the moment and trying to reinvent its full electric brand, but we'll see how that goes. Sanyong, they're down by 39%. It's a real shame because the new Corando is, is out now, and it's a really good car. Planet also had one of those on test recently, and it's Fantastic. I don't know why I don't know why that you know they don't sell more of them. Um anyway, Subaru they're up by eight point three percent. Again, that's a good result for them. They're now introduced their new e-boxer range, which is basically um a sort of hybrid type of engine for their cars to get the CO2 emission figures a bit down. They sell really well in America, Subaru, but they're a tiny presence over here. Um Suzuki, they're down by thirty six point four percent. That could be down to the fact that they've now stopped selling the Solario and the, the Belena in this country, but um, somehow I doubt it because they never were strong sellers in the first place. Toyota are up by 1.4%. Um, that's probably due to the fact that uh, those Corollas are now selling really, really well. They've just announced they're going to discontinue their um, uh, conventional combustion Toyota Corolla. Um, that was only the 1.2 engine. There was no hybrid assistance on that. Um, but the sales of that have been tiny, so everybody's buying the hybrids, and so it'll be hybrid only in this country. Interesting. Um, Vauxhall are down by 10.2%. That's weird, considering how well the course is selling now. Even the old course is selling well. Maybe that new Astra that, um, that I've got with the new engines, that'll be good. Um, I helped um, 
in the Planet Auto review of a new Astra last week. That is a, actually a really good car. Fantastic car, the new Astra. Um, it doesn't deserve the sort of boring reputation it has. It's a fantastic car. Um, Volkswagen down by 2.9%. Again, I don't really know why that is. Um, the Golf's still selling pretty well. And we've got two other cars in the top 10 as well. Uh, finally, Volvo down by 5.34%. Um, don't really know why that is particularly. Maybe they're waiting for um, their first electric car, which will be the XC40 electric. Um, that will be coming on sale next year. Somehow I managed to keep that a bit shorter than usual. Um, but uh, yes, I hope you found that to be uh, entertaining. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment below, like this video. Um, I've got a website, it's www.lloydvehicleconsulting.co.uk with a contact tab on the homepage there for you to get in touch with me, uh, particularly if you'd like to me to source a car for you, but I'd love to do that. Um, I've also got a Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Lloyd Vehicle Consulting. Thank you ever so much indeed for watching.